everybody in YouTube land. Wide World of Trains here. All right, in this train video, we got a few good trains. We're going to check that out in a moment. But I just want to remind everybody to subscribe to Wide World of Trains if you haven't already. And when you watch my videos, give them a comment and a like. Tell me what you think. All right, let's get to this train video. We'll roll it. DPU all right. It says right here on the hoodie. DPU all right. Roll it. on that train is the C-745. That train originates in Erie, Pennsylvania. Heads east to Dunkirk, New York, where it services uh, some industries such as Nestle Purina Dog Food Plant, Refreshco Beverages, and Wells Foods, which makes uh, ice cream and ice cream novelties. All in Dunkirk, New York. Once it's done with that, it does a little switching in the yard, gets everything situated, gets their trains all ready, hooks the marker up, Gets the train all ready to go back to Erie, Pennsylvania, which is where it's headed right now. All on this Thursday, January 13th, 2022, from Wide World of Trains uh, on YouTube. I just heard it. Hmm, talking to the Norfolk Southern 310. I'm going to see if I can catch that train. And it's raining too. Maybe I'll leave the camera ro rolling here. Got dash cam. I don't know where he's at now. She mentioned AK, which is a control point here in Dunkirk. Um, I'm about a mile and a half, but it's mostly city driving to that location. We'll try it anyways. about getting dark it's 4 43 p.m. snow plows are out what they're actually doing there's no snow on the ground there's no snow on the ground but we're supposed to get some cold temperatures overnight and over the weekend so uh, might have some icy conditions because the roads are wet. As you can see, it's raining a little bit right now. So they salt ahead of time to try to prevent the ice from forming on the... Uh... There's that building right there, by the way, where I used to film a lot of my trains. I got a video of that, a time lapse coming up of that. It's just taking them so long to finish the siding. I can't finish the video until they finish putting up the siding and everything which will probably be springtime or so. Yes, it's a green light. That means go. Let's see if we can catch this Norfolk Southern 310. I didn't hear any horns or whistles or anything. See if we can catch this train. Over to the left here is where Alco Locomotive Dunkirk Works used to be. I pointed that out in other videos. One of the last remaining buildings standing from Alco is this one right here on the left. It used to be a General Assembly uh, where they assembled the steam, steam locomotives right there, that big building with the two points on the top where the crane used to ride up and down the factory floor.
building actually was made, made into like a uh, oh good there comes this 310 so we'll be able to get the 310 good um yeah after alco closed this place actually was turned into a like a um jelly factory where they made jams and jellies for several years it was called bedford foods 1940s and 50s and then believe it or not craft food bought this and it was a craft food plant they made the same type of things and that closed in the mid 80s that was there a good 25 30 years of craft it has craft this building here was an Ames department store many of you on the east northeast US um, might be familiar with Ames department stores you have to be a certain age though to remember that I remember going there as a kid because I lived right down the street here for many years I just wish I would have had video cameras back then because I've seen thousands of trains I mean thousands over the years living right there all them years and over here to the left was also Elko that brick wall is a foundation to the power plant because they used to make their own electricity a lot of people might not know but you know in the 1800s early 1900s you just couldn't order you know gigawatts or kilowatts of electricity to your factory if you wanted a lot of electricity you had to build your own power plant and that's what the Elko did here and I'm sure at many of their other places and they burnt their own coal and steam generators and made their own electricity it was a necessity because you couldn't just call up the power local power company and tell them you want so many you know megawatts of uh, of electric per year just just it was a new thing you know so they had their own power plant I have photographs of that building with the power plant smokestacks I'm gonna have to do a video of some of those old pictures someday but if we're up here now by the Perina plant and like I said, I heard the NS detector go off, so the 310 should be coming. It's just getting dark. It's 447. It's real cloudy, raining. But we should have just enough light to... Uh... to uh, record the train here. We'll probably follow it. How's that? So we'll pause the camera here for a few minutes until uh, the train gets to this location.
more. First NSDPU I've seen in a long time. And it was a BNSF also. Oh man, that was pretty cool. This is a huge train to have a DPU on it. Hopefully they're gonna do that more often. If anybody counted the cars, let me know what the count was. Leave a comment in the comment section. Give the video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Wide World Trains on YouTube. I have 200 cars. No wonder it had a DPU. end of Norfolk Southern 310 with the DPU all right a BNSF DPU no less that train originates in Elkhart Indiana heads east terminates in East Binghamton New York all on this uh, Thursday, January 13th, 2022, from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Uh, that's a rail fan right there. He might have counted the cars, so I'm going to ask him. There's got to be 200 cars. He's going to check the, uh, the CSX, uh, the light at. CP37 
see if there's any uh, eastbounds coming. You'll meet up with me over here at uh, CSX, probably in about four or five minutes. But that was pretty cool. I mean, to see a DPU, I just wasn't expecting it at NS. They just don't do that around here. They did it for about a year or two, usually on that train on the 310. And they just stopped doing it. They were breaking a lot of knuckles, but I don't think it was because of the DPU that they were breaking knuckles. That usually alleviates the problem or helps alleviate it, you know. But they got one on that train, and that was a big train. I could see why they had one on there. So hopefully they'll be doing more of that. There's the Nestle Purina plant that night. All lit up cooking away. That place is always going. Big business is dog food in this country. We get a lot of grain from Canada. A lot of Canadian truckers come in with uh, grain from Canada. And we get a lot of intermodal uh, containers on semis. From Canada with those uh, Canadian national semi trucks. See those every day. All right, that's going to be it for this video here. Bring on the next video. Roll it. Hold it. Don't click away because there's more trains to come. There always is a wide world of trains because you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's the next video. Roll it.
Symbol on that train is CSX I-009. That train originates in North Bergen, New Jersey, heads west to Bedford Park, Illinois, near Chicago. All on this Thursday, December 13th, 2022, from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Here comes the next video. Roll it. Chessie Cabooses, no way!